straight away in MX2. It was the run down into the first corner and we were waiting to see what sort of mess was going to come out of it. And right at the front, it was the surprise package of Rue Gonzalez with uh, Tony Caroli right behind him with the Yamaha rider pressing on, hoping to make up ground. He was all over the Portuguese KTM rider and then took the lead away from him as the laps wore down. Then it was Tyler Rattray who started to come through again, dropping the KTM rider back down through the scale. And also we had uh, one of the Kawasaki riders then making his way through. Stephen Frossard put in the cracking race, but then uh, Tommy Searle was fighting off the back foot, having a really bad practice, following him behind Sean Simpson on the 24 bike. Uh, Simpson saw the red plate all of a sudden starting to go from his grasp and fighting back with Frossard as well as the 183 Kawasaki just managed to get in his way there. But Caroli was out in front. He took the lead and there was never any doubt that the Yamaha rider was going to come home celebrating in the first motor. In MX1, we had Dodaika sitting there on the pole position, but into the first corner, there was a huge melee, and right out of it came the surprise package, Max Nagel, but then technical troubles made a distraught German give up on the first race. Paul Sell was pushing on as well, and managed to get the better of Steve Boniface, the uh, double GP winner from France. But uh, it was then going back towards the front end of the pack, where Coppins was going on his way. Uh, dropping down Billy McKenzie who was putting in a heroic effort with Steve Ramon on the Suzuki getting past him as well as McKenzie's troubles with the injured shoulder gave him more and more pain he dropped back down through the order but right out the front Coppins was having some real fun and games with Philip Arts trying to make up ground having a right fight out in a battle with the number 15 Martin Honda but Coppins was on his way yet again the confidence building in the monster Yamaha rider to take the first MX1 win as we moved on into the programme it was down to MX2 again for the second start Caroli boxed in on the corner right on the inside and uh, again we looked out the front of the KTM riders but it was the uh, surprise package of the uh, number 47 Suzuki which uh, made its way back the uh, the recovering rider and then Caroli started to get back into gear again just moving in through the field as the KTM's was beginning to uh, fight with each other through there as uh, Searle goes through to take Gonzalez through into uh, another position down in the order but uh, Caroli was working his way back up into the field and uh, we were looking then for Tyler Rattray who was uh, starting to uh, run away with this race as Caroli took Tommy Searle and dropped him back a position but then Searle done himself absolutely no favours when the front end went away from the bike dropped it down and then riders came steaming past him and he was then on the back foot but uh, Tyler Rattray cruising into victory done the last half lap literally waving to everybody because he knew that he had the overall win for MX2 here at uh, Germany uh, the red plate also going the way of the South African uh, Red Bull KTM rider. So a, a great day for uh, KTM Red Bull. Back down to MX1 and again into the first corner. It was waiting to see who came out on top of the pile. And McKenzie was in there. But then there was this huge crash with the Dyker going down. Barragan as well. And everybody was piling in as they came over the jump. The riders just couldn't see the crash. And that put all those riders back down the field as Paul Sell then moved up on McKenzie, took the lead. And McKenzie then through the pain barrier started to fight back again and took the line into the corner, made a mistake which took Paul Sell out. Coppins just getting away with a bit of luck as well as the Nagal also went through there and moved up. Then a couple of corners later McKenzie went down in the big pile which moved Coppins into the front and that was the last we really saw of him but the fight between the Dyker and the number 12 rider Nagal in front of his home crowd was starting to heat up which went the way of the Dyker but Coppins again cruising for a double win. The man was back on form again and closing up at the top of the championship which which uh, still being led by Philip Hartz, but only by a few points as uh, we got to the podium. And then we move on to the next race in Sweden.